Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about some uh, We're going to recap. recap. We're going to recap the recap show. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting. Um, so, what was this? The first week of Monday Night Football? Yes. No, uh, first Monday of Monday Night Football. Well, that's when, yeah. Yeah. And WWE didn't even try. Um, in all fairness, they did have a point in not trying because they I were guess. trying to build to the pay per view, which obviously we know is kind of a moot point at this. All right, let me ask you this: What's your excitement level for Hell in a Cell? Uh, the same as it was before Monday. So about a four. I guess I don't know. It's it's hard to Maybe get excited six? about B pay per views to begin with, especially when. They didn't do the one match we kind of wanted to see in Hell in a Cell. It's true. Um, which all right. is very weird. So here is why my excitement level is somewhat low. So we have the Super Show, what? It's like L- less three than weeks a month later. Away? And everything's going to be a rematch, basically, of Hell in a Cell. For More the most less. part. Yeah. And then the women's matches are probably going to carry over to Evolution. Um. Well, one of them we wanted to happen. Right. But um, we didn't expect everything to take place already. Like, I figured they were going to build up to it. No, I, I, I figured there was going to be yeah, matches ahead I guess. of this. I honestly figured since Charlotte won, Becky would get the title at some point and Charlotte right. won it back. But maybe evolution. that's the reason they're not doing it in a Hell in a Cell, because it seems like a screwy finish is the most likely, and then have an actual finish at... A um, Super Showdown? Yeah, or Evolution. Or Evo- yeah, see, we're going to get that match three times, because I think it's already... Booked for Evolution, I not guess. Evolution. I'm sorry for uh, the Super Showdown. Maybe I don't actually know. Did you see the leaked card for Evolution? No. All right. I know they were talking about. Um... All right. Without spoiling the May Young Classic, because the finals, I believe, were written on here. Oh. How factual they are, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um. However, mm-hmm. let's see. I'm gonna find it first. <laughs> Yeah, that would be helpful. There it is. That's why I use the computer. It's a little easier to navigate. All right. Unless you saved it or something. Yeah. Well, like I said, I didn't want to uh, spoil the match for you. So Uh what they say, we have an NXT UK Women's Championship match, Mm -hmm. which I believe they already crowned a champion, right? I don't know if it's been televised or not. I have no idea. I don't even know when NXT UK is. Well, anyway, that's Rhea Ripley versus Ginny versus Killer Kelly versus Dakota Kai. Um, then they have a special announcement segment. Then we have a Carmella talk show with the ladies of Glow. Um, the Riot Squad versus Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Ivory. How old is Ivory? Probably close to 50. Yeah, she's, she's fine. Is she still wrestling? I didn't even know she if she might was be. still. All right, then we got the May Young Classic final. Then we have a 20 women battle royal where the winner faces Kyrie Sane for the NXT Championship. Oh, so it's not even going to be a main roster battle royal? It's going to be all NXT people? I don't know. People? This is just. <laughs> It, it's this is like ninety eight percent fake, but I'm sure there's some fair enough some matches that will indeed happen. Um, Oscar versus Ember Moon, Naomi versus Melina, Mickey James versus Lita, which was announced, and then you have Kyrie Sane versus the winner of the Battle Royal, Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus, uh, Alicia Fox and Kelly Kelly versus the Iconics versus Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia for the WWE Women's tag team championship that's fake because um, there's no way they wouldn't put sasha and bailey in there well right yeah that makes more sense if they do do that asuka and naomi are also going to be a team they've been establishing a lot of teams lately yeah uh, <laughs> becky lynch for charlotte flair for the mm-hmm. smackdown women's we championship that was and happen. the rumored main event of nikki bella versus ronda rousey i feel like that's not true yeah there's a lot of stuff that doesn't seem to add up yeah but i think some of those matches will happen not well obviously it's inevitable yeah. i think they're gonna do a battle royal with a bunch i think it's more likely that they do a main roster battle royal mm-hmm. and have nx team matches instead of the other way around which is what you were suggesting yeah. not you but yeah, it yeah. was suggesting because yeah. you really like what's the point of having like nxt people come up if they're not going to showcase them whereas you you know who are the people in um, right the main, the main roster? Yeah, are. yeah, but I think that's a something that WWE should look forward or look to doing in the future is showcasing NXT talent on WWE television. Yeah, well, this way you, you, they know who no, they exactly. are and when they come. Yeah, uh huh. Because I mean, let let's face it: if Vince gauges, you know, 
because there there was a point i think um i don't remember i read an interview or something apparently he was very high on andrade cian almas but uh i mean if vince's first um first time he sees them basically is when they debut on the main roster i feel like that's not true yeah, though. yeah right but i mean if you know if they don't have a good reaction, he's just gonna all of a sudden be well, like, "All right, I, I, I'm done." I guess if his if his perception of them is yeah, whatever the their perception, perception yeah, then yeah, that would be one thing, right? Um, so I, I guess it's possible. Because yeah, apparently it, it stated that Vince doesn't really pay attention to NXT. And it's yeah, literally well, Triple H. Is he, well, I think it's more of that he's hands off with it, not doesn't pay yeah. attention. Now he's got all types of things going on. What with the XFL coming back? And it's all that true. Nonsense. That is a truly insane fact, right there. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway. All right. So I guess we'll talk about some raw. I guess so. Um. So really, the only thing that took place that's actually relevant going to affect a match at Hell in a Cell is that Mick Foley is now the. Guest referee for the Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman match. I don't which was get kind it. Kind of random. I don't get I mean, it. I, it would have made a lot more sense if he just picked the Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy one. Mm. He's got history. It's true. That would actually makes sense. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the big dog versus. Uh, or no, yeah, Braun's uh, going big dog hunting, right? Irrelevant. Is that what he said? Yeah, because Braun <laughs> likes catchphrases now. Yeah. Oh, and um, Ambrose and Rollins will be facing. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Drew and, Drew um, and Dolph. Dolph. Yeah, yeah, for the for titles. The, yes. Tag team titles. So that will so happen. So the U.S. title and the IC title are both not going to be showcased on the pay-per-view. So uh, at the at, – because they There's did another that. one of those stupid, uh, like, everybody attacks everybody things. Um, and then Corbin said that if the Shield come back into the arena, Roman and Seth will both have to forfeit their right. matches. Mm-hmm. And then – Seth and Dean come to attack Ziggler and Drew. Right. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. They'll just take that off of of, uh, Rollins, and they'll put the tag titles on them. Mm. And this way, Kevin Owens can win the IC title. Like, that makes perfect sense. Stop thinking like that. Nope. See, you're trying to make sense out of a situation that, well... It's so bad. It doesn't make make any sense. Um, Yeah. Well, yeah, because... Uh, I feel like this might be wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. This isn't for Hell in a Cell, though. Oh. Was that for the... It's uh, for the Super Showdown. That's not true. If they retain... It's probably... Well, this probably was made like a month ago. It's anyway. true. But, um... <laughs> they, put, they put the bar against the New Day at the Super Showdown. I don't yeah. think that's going to stick. Eh, we'll see. It's possible. It is. But, um... Now I forgot what I was going to say. We Thanks. were talking about the nonsense with Dean and Seth and the icy title. And right. Oh, and then when Seth and Dean came back, they said, no, Shield's not here. It's just Dean and Seth. Well, no, what happened was he said something about, um, like, some kind of law, and he brought a sheriff with him or something like that. Did you notice the sheriff's thing said Ambrose on it? Yeah. <laughs> that was his name or yeah. whatever. I think they probably did that. Oh, well, they obviously did yeah, that Yeah, oh, I wasn't. I zoned out for most of this. Yeah, because well, you it don't was, pay attention to these things. It was irrelevant, and mm-hmm. it wasn't going to uh, impact anything. Yeah. Um, let's see. But yeah, that... Kevin Owens beat the crap out of Tyler Breeze. He did. And he said that everything is uh, Bobby Lashley's fault because he injured Sami Zayn. Yeah. And now he has full reign to do whatever he wants, according yeah. to Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. Um, so that means he'll just... I guess, come out, beat up somebody, and then leave again. So what was the point of him quitting? Um, they wanted to do something. They th- figured out it wasn't a good idea after all, and then they stopped doing it. Makes sense. Because <sighs> I, I can almost guarantee it wasn't Bobby Lashley with yeah. their or- initial plan. Yeah, like the first hour, nothing happened. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was playing Fire Pro Wrestling before. Of course. Raw. And it was like 8.07. I was like, oh, I guess I should turn Raw on. And I come, turn it on, and they're just replaying clips from last week. And I was mm-hmm. like, really? Yep. But apparently, the, uh, what the hell do they call themselves now, Braun and Mick Ziggles? Um, I don't remember if they have a name. Yeah, they, they, he came up with something. But anyway, they were out at the ring, and or in the ring, and all the heels were ringside mm. and kevin owens just stand there amongst all the jobbers yep. and i was like oh 
You poor son of a bitch. Yeah, well, concerning the fact that Braun tried to kill him recently. It's true. So, but whatever. Which is funny, because um, they made mention of that again, I believe, on SmackDown last night when they had the Mixed Match Challenge commercial, and in the first round, I guess it's going to be Kevin Owens and Natalia versus Braun and... Oh, Alex really? It is? Yeah, yeah. Because they're going to do a uh, round robin this time. Yes, so it's everybody not, faces no, not a regular tournament. Everybody, which is a much better way. It makes way sense. Because I think... Uh, even in last year's was it last no it was this no, year, earlier this year, this year um, the tournament I think there was matches that I wanted to see but two teams face each other and then happen. it didn't happen mm-hmm. so uh, but it seems like they're gonna drag this out pretty pretty well, long I like the fact that they're not making it Raw vs Smackdown again yeah which is kind of I mean silly. The, the teams are still but that's it's still not Raw vs Smackdown right though. right right so it makes sense for people on the same show to team together mm-hmm. but it also doesn't make any sense. Much like Survivor Series, for everyone to forget about all their problems. and Oh, yeah, yeah, put everything aside. Yeah. yeah. Which, well, I mean, for the most part, that happened. We still had the stupid Shane and Kevin Owens thing. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying that. Yeah, like, no, 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 fair enough. A lot of times they'll just, oh, well, I'm on Raw, so I, I have to be friends with you now. Right. So, um, so do you think they could uh, showcase the eventual Bobby Roode heel turn any more? He's completely going to just turn on. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, that's what's it's... going to happen. Which is fine. But I mean, it's like so obvious. I'd be okay with the heel Bobby Roode in a feud against Chad yeah. Gable. Yeah, that's fine. That'd be good. Yeah, it'll give Bobby Roode some character. Yeah. It'll let Gable be on TV. It's true. Because Gable is a very good wrestler mm-hmm. and probably the, one of the more entertaining ones on yeah. the roster. And we don't know what's going on with Jason Jordan. I know his. I don't like he has a lot of setbacks, right? Yeah, I don't even. It's a possibility so, he doesn't even come back. I think. So, um, but yeah, I mean the Ascension were on TV twice in a row. Two weeks. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Um. Didn't we get it? We got a tag team title rematch, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, bad. Yeah. So, but the only really thing that came of it was the fact that Dean and Seth attacked right, them, which afterwards. basically led to them making mm. the. Tag title match which, at Hell in Which is something we kind of assumed was going to mm-hmm. happen anyway. So. Yep. Um, oh, we got to see Elias versus Finn Balor for the first time in, what, a couple months? I was going to say, it was like the main event, kind of. <laughs> um, so it's yeah. funny because it now seems like Elias is not necessarily a uh, opener for the women. He's just, He's just a transitional person, yeah. more so than he used to be. Mm-hmm. Because now it feels like if he comes out, he's just... Well, because he always used to come out and didn't have a match. But now it's like, come out and then something else happens that's completely unrelated to him. So, but he comes out and then Mick Foley interrupts him after a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Mick Foley goes on a tirade about how, like, he made history Hell in, a, or yeah, in the Hell in a Cell years, 20 years right? ago. Yeah. And uh, so he asked Stephanie McMahon if he could uh, be the referee in Braun versus Roman. And so that's going to happen. And then he said he was allowed to make one match. And obviously, this is the match you're going to make. Yeah. Elias, <laughs> Elias versus Finn, Finn Balor. <laughs> uh, so what do you think about uh, Leo Rush and uh, Bobby Lashley? Uh, I think there's potential there. I guess. I don't know. It seemed like Leo Rush was like a good hype man for Lashley. Yeah. Because everything that they've written for Bobby Lashley has been utter garbage. Mm-hmm. So they let somebody who I guess has some kind of mic skills to yeah. talk I mean, for him. I, I, That's why Heyman would have made sense for Lashley. Well, yeah, or yeah, your whole thing would mm-hmm. have made complete sense. Mm-hmm. But here we are. I mean, there was rumors, right, of Heyman was getting a new of, client. Yeah, I was going to say they had a lot of different names. Yeah. So. But what else? Whatever. Do we, do we really have anything else? Uh, I think the authors of pain are ever going to amount to something. No, no. Because this is all this is turned into is people attacking uh, Drake Maverick on Twitter about him being the manager of AOP. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, since they're not authors of pain anymore, they're just AOP. Seriously? Yeah, that's what they were announced as. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Um, also, Triple H made a a, a uh, appearance. Yeah, they're really like we're really relying on. That the legends. Thing. Well, that too. But I mean, you had Mick Foley on Raw. There was yeah. a segment with Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker. Um, so it's yeah. only a matter of time before Vince begs uh, Dwayne to come back. Well, that's 
probably going to happen. Oh, and we forgot to uh, mention that Ray Young, Ray, Ray Young, Ray, Ray, Ray Young is a permanent addition to Monday Night Raw. Oh, they're the War Dogs. There you go. See? Yeah. See? Oh, how fantastic is this? The pre-show gets David Otunga, Booker T, Jonathan Coachman, oh, the coaches. Dream Team. The co- yeah, there's like five people on the uh Well, I know King's in there, too. Yeah, King's there. And, and then uh, oh, Sam and Roberts. Oh, and Sam Roberts, yeah. Yep. yeah. So, the Sausage Fest. Yeah, it's really funny, actually, because it's all the Raw Rejects. <laughs> And well, then... Tunga was a SmackDown reject too. But he he went to Raw. Oh yeah, that's right. When yeah, the yeah. super superstar shakeup for <laughs> no, when the draft first happened, mm-hmm. he went to Raw. Byron went to SmackDown. He's been there since. It was Otunga, and then it was Booker T, and then it was Coach. Now they're all. Oh man, that's funny. Um, did you watch any of the May Young Classic? I watched the, the first, first episode. Yeah, 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 the first episode. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's, it's scary that one of the competitors wrestled at WCW. Oh, yeah. That was something. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. The crowd was obviously very into it. Um, I didn't know any of these people, except um, for the one that was in it last year as well. Oh, Rhea? Rhea yeah. Something? Yeah. And, oh, Tegan, oh no, she got hurt last year. Yeah, that they had the said thing, that yes. the, she was upset and mm-hmm. she wanted to prove herself yeah. because she wasn't able to be in the tournament last yeah. year. But it's... <laughs> Yeah, everybody looked good so far. The only thing I can say is that Beth Phoenix is no Corey Graves. Well, no, but Michael <laughs> Cole is much better than he normally is on Monday nights. Because he's, he's not, tolerable. He doesn't have an old man yelling in yeah, his ear. He's not a plug machine. Yeah. So, but, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's definitely entertaining and everything. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, um, also, we had a tag match here on Raw. Uh, Mickey James and Alexa Bliss versus Triple R and Natalia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Uh, uh, they basically try to injure her ribs. Ronda's um, that is. Yeah, Ronda's yeah. ribs because she's the only one worth talking about in this feud at this point. I guess. Um, I don't really care. Well, I'm saying like that's this is like everybody against Ronda kind of thing. Yeah. So it's the Ronda show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Mickey Mickey eventually taps to the arm bar, which is not a surprise. Oh. And then Alexa kicks Rhonda in the ribs when she's like celebrating the win. And then they scare them off and everything. Yep. Um, so this is meant to make Rhonda look weak, to give Alexa a fighting chance, I suppose. Or look like she has one. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. That's I think that. that's pretty much everything yeah. that happened on Pretty Raw. Pretty lackluster. Yeah. I can't really say I'm surprised. Yeah, I guess Braun... Oh, we didn't talk about the actual main event. Oh. Yeah, Braun said he wanted to go big dog hunting. Mm. His words. It's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, and then Roman showed up on the announce table, right? Yeah, he just appeared. He teleported. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Braun's in the ring, like, screaming, Where's Roman? And then, uh, then Roman's music hits. Braun's looking at the entrance and in the stands. Back at the entrance... Then he goes to oh, walk towards damn. the back, and mm-hmm. that's when Roman comes out. <laughs> or he sees Roman. Shut up like that, man. Yeah. I so, uh, but yeah, then they start fighting, and then eventually Roman Reigns hits a Samoan drop off of the table oh, onto yeah. the stage. Yeah. Or and, into the little area between the stage. Or well, they, they said it was on the stage. Yeah. I don't know what you would call where he got hit, yeah. but that's what they said. So I just wrote stage. And uh, that's it. That was Raw. Very uh, lackluster, highly anticipated pay per view pushing. Yeah, and we're going to see the same shit for And the best part is month. they promoted all of the SmackDown matches because there was only three on the Raw side. Yeah, that's There's crazy. There's three announced matches for Raw and five for SmackDown. Which is funny because I can think of another match on SmackDown that could potentially happen. Our Truth versus Almas. I was going to say you could make it into a mixed tag too. That would also and Carmella. Work. That would be appropriate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not? They really should make more more uh more titles and like in in make things so that you don't have people doing them for no reason. You know what I mean? Cuz I feel like a lot of feuds you... There's no motivation yeah. for things. Yeah, no, absolutely. Cuz if you make a mixed match um title, I guess, um and a women's tag match like, yes, you're utilizing a lot of people at once, but they're actually doing things yeah, that matter. because there is a lot of segments. I mean, where just nothing matters. Well, like, there's no reason for R-Truth to face Amis last no, night. No, no, no. But it was entertaining. Well, I mean, it, you, you kind of inter... 
intertwine things with uh, the Miz last week. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the that's the funny thing. Almas was a vehicle to, or I guess Almas and Truth have been vehicles to kind of mix up the Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan and Miz yep. feud mm-hmm. to begin yeah. with, which is fine. But it, like sometimes it kind of gets to a point where it's like a boring, like with um, Shinsuke and the Jeff and uh, Randy Orton Jeff feud. Phillips. Because it makes no sense because the whole reason why you had um, Jeff and Shinsuke feud to begin with mm-hmm. was to get to Randy Orton. Right. And it, yeah, it, it didn't, didn't do anything. need it to yeah, happen. It did, right. So. And it didn't, nobody gained anything from mm-hmm. it. Now Shinsuke's just sitting around. Not defending his title on yeah. a pay-per-view. Uh, right. Showing up on SmackDown once in the last month. Something like that. And uh, all that good stuff. All right. Where do we start with SmackDown? There was some good and there was some... Not so good. Uh, the show as a whole was certainly yeah, better. Yeah, all right. There was one glaring thing that was not good. But um, they finally did it. The right team won the tag match. Like when the bar should have went over oh, the oh, new oh. day to face yeah, the Bludgeon yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers. Um, yes. The bar faced Rusev Day with the winners facing the New Day mm-hmm. at Hell in a Cell. Yeah. And Rusev Day went over. I don't think that if the bar had won, it would have been a good reaction though there was no reason for them they just had a no i'm not yeah, saying yeah, yeah. that that would have been right anyway i'm no, just I saying know. that had the bar actually won it would have been bad anyway i liked the way that they they did the finish oh yeah with aiden jumping in front of uh, bro rusev kick. or pushing him out of the way yeah yeah no so, it was good so he took a bro kick for rusev allowing him to hit a machka kick and he uh mm-hmm. pinned him which is cool because you don't really see stuff like that very often no and um, it kind of like goes towards english's desire to prove himself to rusev and everything so it makes yeah it makes all it, kinds of i sense. still feel like they're waiting to pull the trigger they pick up those tag belts and it's gonna happen oh the, the turn t- yeah i guess yeah. I don't know. like all of a sudden they go on a losing streak or something like that i don't know, I, I don't know. <laughs> whatever we'll you would see. think they would go one way and all of a sudden they're gonna make a sharp left into a wall <laughs> it's true <laughs> uh no the the terrible part i was talking about was that oscar interview uh it was not good well it was it, they're making her speak which is not necessarily a bad thing but it was her making her appear like she didn't understand anything which i guess was a little off taste or yeah, whatever I, it's, so but like well it's funny with oscar here they don't know how to book the women and they don't know how to book international stars yeah it's, you it's put the two threat. together and yep. forget about it yeah but, uh, uh, but what they did do is kind of solidify Naomi and uh, Asuka as some sort of tag team. Yeah, or a cohesive unit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Which, again, that could have been a match that happens against the Iconics mm-hmm. on the pre-show, yep. which I think you said last week, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, so that is possible. Um, we got... Uh, they did another one of those before the show segments where AJ was sitting in an empty arena. Which is what he probably would have done. So wait, if, is this before the show or during the show? If he came out during the show, yeah. Um, and then it was very strange. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but he basically just said that... Uh, Again, this feud what? was that, This happened at SummerSlam. When has this been going? Since it started at SummerSlam. Beginning? Well, no, didn't they? Well, I mean, it really got going. Uh, probably right after... Um, Extreme Rules, yeah, I would so imagine. It was, right. It was, we'll just say the beginning of August. It was right? probably right after Extreme yeah. Rules. And they're going to probably have a match at the Super Showdown as well. If it's, I think it's already party. announced. Yeah. yeah. Styles versus Joe. Yeah. So there's that. So that's two months with a feud that's kind of been spinning their wheels. Oh, it's wheels. been terrible. Yeah. I mean... The only good thing about what they did last night was... Again, I find... The, comedic relief in this and it's not meant to uh oh the night night thing just the whole yeah, thing in stupid. general yeah yeah they had joe like did a storybook or uh, told a story and he had a book and everything they did a very good job with the filters that they used and it was very well put together but the premise was just so ridiculous that's kind of hurt the because how, ha- how if, could you hate the end where he's got the belt on his shoulder and he's standing that was, next to one? It was a pretty good looking picture. Great. Yeah, um, but it was all put together very well. But just like how bad the whole thing is, the thing as a whole has been, it ruined like what 
the whole picture was. That's it's, it's wrestling. Yeah. What people think happens during wrestling sometimes happens during wrestling. I guess that's true. <laughs> um, what else? We had Charlotte that's versus Sonya oh, Deville. Come on, Becky. Uh, you know, channeling her inner Chris Jericho, hiding oh, in the audience. Wigs? Yeah, that yeah. was that was great. That was pretty funny. And it, it honestly looked like it was like a fan. Yeah, no, first. it was very very well done because yeah. uh, after the match. Charlotte retained against uh, Sonya Deville. Was that a was title a... match? Yes, it was. Uh, no, I don't think it I was. I don't think it was. All right, fair enough. It wasn't a very good match either. No. Um, very sloppy. It just didn't look like the two meshed well together because they're... Sonya's a decent worker. At least she's become one. Um, but yeah, after the match, Charlotte was leaving and decided to take a selfie with a fan. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, another fan happens to... What, did she hit her, right? Or she just she, jumped the guard? I think she just punched her. She, she punched stayed her. in the stand for, yeah. like, a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then she took off her wig and glasses and revealed herself to be Becky Lynch. Mm-hmm. And then she hit, uh, put an arm bar on mm-hmm. her on the uh, outside on the apron. Yeah. Not on the apron, on the uh, ramp. Yeah. <clears throat> um, But at least, they, yeah, I mean, they've been doing good stuff. Little, Just little bits, but mm-hmm. that's all you need to do. Yeah, they don't need to have matches no. every week. That mm-hmm. would be uh, bad. Yeah, well, I mean, not even... That. No, but that's what just, they've been doing a yeah. lot lately is just have the same match over and over right. again. Well, I mean, last week's episode of SmackDown was basically The Miz and Daniel Bryan. It was just in different segments. Yeah, well, they had a good chunk of yeah. this show as well. Because um, I think they both had backstage segments, mm-hmm. and then they had the main event of Brie versus Maurice. Right. So, which we right. kind of figured wasn't going to be like a real match anyway. No, 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 no. Um, which I, I kind of expected this to be a match at Evolution, to be honest. Brie versus Maurice? Yeah. Well, we already know that Brie's in a match. Oh, no, that was at the Super Showdown, yeah. right? That's, I don't I don't think they would waste a slot on this. Yeah. Because I don't think Maurice is, like, uh, strong enough at this point, at the very least, mm. to carry a match or to be in a match. I think either of them are, to be honest. Well, I, I, they probably have a little more faith in Brie than maurice yeah, i guess so I'm not saying you're wrong oh but yeah no. just perception and everything yeah and it really because they said that it's been seven years since maurice's last singles match um the one mixed tag match that she was in since then really didn't count because she didn't Mania, do anything right last yeah. year yeah because all she did was take bumps really and right. run away so yeah uh and there was no physicality leading even up to the nope that was all talk. Yeah. They, I don't think they got into the ring. With no, each other. the only yeah, because we saw. Cena oh, maybe a and, couple of times. Cena and Nikki tagged against Ellsworth and uh, Carmella at one point. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was. Uh, oh, we had our truth versus Almas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I meant that was pretty much it with the. Uh, oh oh with, yeah, yeah. With what Maurice has done, done since then, right? Um, she did just give birth five months. ago. No, I'm not saying that it's not impressive. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying Four that no, it was five. five. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying she hasn't been in the ring in a while. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we did have Almas versus Our Truth. The mm-hmm. uh, it's funny because sometimes like you'll have in 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 a match you'll have one person turn heel and the other one turn face. Um. <laughs> And this happened apparently inadvertently during the triple threat match at SummerSlam because Becky turned heel and apparently uh, Carmella is now a face. I guess. I guess that's where we're at. Paired with R-Truth. Getting the crowd into it. It yep. happened. Yeah. So it was good. Uh, it, it works because yeah. it, her thing in NXT was basically being uh, Enzo and Cass's cheerleader mm-hmm. anyway. Right. So she's good at it. All right, and in the match between Truth and Amis, we did see her get into it with uh, Zelina Vega, mm-hmm. so that could be something they're going to go with next. Yeah, they could, like you said, have a, a mixed, mixed match yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. It, would, uh, it, yeah. it all all makes sense. And Amis is putting together some wins now. Mm-hmm. And it's still crazy watching our truth wrestle. Yes. Because the man is insane. Yeah. But it's, in- it's incredible how that man moves around for a man yeah. his age. Yeah. It's nearing 50, right? 46, yep. 47. They might like be that. older than that now. So, yeah. But yeah, the main event, Brie versus Maurice, just was. Uh, it was Maurice running away. Yeah, and the Miz uh, beating up Brie. <laughs> On accident. Yeah. 
Yeah, because when he pulled her out of the ring, that didn't look yeah, uh, it was not a good... like uh, she was supposed to drop that hard. Because he was mm. like, oh shit. And then all yeah. of a sudden, Daniel Bryan attacked him. And, and then The Miz threw Daniel Bryan on her. Yes. So that was another uh, good uh, good spot right there. Mm-hmm. Um, but in, in, inevitably, the Daniel Bryan and Bree stand tall. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're... Yeah, I guess that was mostly to build up the match for Sunday, yeah. which is going to continue on mm-hmm. anyway. So only getting two Hell in a Cell matches. Kind of strange. It's disappointing. Yeah. Um, I would like to see them, like, have something during the pre-show. Right. Where they announce, like, something happened, and now all of a sudden uh, Charlotte and Becky are a Hell in a Cell match yeah. now. That would make sense. Because they could easily do it because there was no interaction beyond or is this <clears throat> them simply not wanting to have one show having two and the other one having one i don't think it matters nah, Raw I mean, had... it's now it's just even one and one yeah it's true <clears throat> but... because jeff and randy really makes no sense outside of jeff wanting to be in a hell in a cell match it's true but if they had put mcfoley in it, it would have made more sense mm, which yeah. is funny um gotta get him on raw though that's dumb <laughs> at least until next year it's gonna be interesting what since SmackDown is the one that got got the deal on Fox, oh, if their oh, oh. focus yeah. is really going to be to shift over because SmackDown still has um, their attendance has been down. Mm-hmm. I don't. I think their viewership. Which has makes been no sense because the show's better. It is. Whatever. Uh, this is what it is. Yeah. Um. But anything else worth talking about? Not really. Not that I know of. No. No. Oh, I don't even think we talked about it. Uh, Jeff and Shinsuke had a match. Yeah, which and Orton got involved and uh, it was like in like twenty minutes. It was or long. So, yeah, and then eventually Orton comes out of the crowd, and knocks uh, Jeff off the top rope, starts beating the crap out of him, and then Jeff somehow gets control, and then he hits him with the twist of fate, swamp on bomb, and then that's, that's it. it. Yeah, I liked uh, Jeff's face paint last night. It was very cool. Yeah, generally speaking, yeah. his is pretty pretty solid. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. Crazy to see you. Oh, and, and uh, Kofi dressed up as his weird reporter mm-hmm. thing. That was pretty fun. Yes, and then they cut back to the announce desk where all three of them were sitting there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, this was kind of a recap of recap shows. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Yep. Um, I guess we will uh, see you guys next time for our Hell in a Cell preview and predictions video. Yep. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.